Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to Student Victim Assistance Virtual Coffee Chats. My name is Kimberly and I'm the coordinator for Student Victim Assistance at Georgia State University. Today is our fifth installment. This morning, I am enjoying my coffee as I tend to my fruit and vegetable garden. I just finished watering it and I couldn't help but think about how on the top, things might appear vibrant, strong, healthy, colorful, in sync. But sometimes if we look, look below the surface, we might see that things are not as healthy as they appear, like relationships. When we talk about unhealthy relationships, we have to be mindful that unhealthy relationships are based on power and control. What are some of the red flags and indicators that we should look for in unhealthy relationships? Well, maybe your partner is telling you what to do, where to go, what to eat, who to see, what to wear. You might find yourself isolated from family and friends. They might tell you what time to come home. They might be putting their hands on you physically. You might have visible marks and bruises. You might be hiding those marks and bruises. You might find yourself walking around on eggshells all the time. Maybe your partner is exhibiting behaviors of jealousy and possessiveness, putting you down, taking your money. Remember, these are just a few examples of unhealthy relationships. How do you create boundaries in your relationship? It's important that you create those boundaries in the beginning. You want your relationship to also embody respect. You want to let them know what you expect. You should be able to communicate freely. You should be able to express yourself without worry. Express yourself as far as what you expect in the way that they treat you and how they put their hands on you. If they're forcing you to do things that you don't like, for example, sex. If you don't want to play wrestle, if you don't want to hold hands or kiss, think about those things and creating and setting up those types of boundaries. You also want to set boundaries when it comes to digital platforms, social media, what to post, what not to post, what pictures and photographs are you going to share of each other or with each other? Are you going to provide them access to your cell phones, to your emails, to your passwords? Again, these are boundaries that you want to help create or do create and establish in the beginning of your relationship. If you are feeling uncomfortable or unsafe, if they're harming you physically or mentally, mentally or emotionally, that is a red flag and an indicator. And I would strongly encourage you to talk to someone that you trust. For example, an advocate within Student Victim Assistance at Georgia State University. We offer crisis intervention to Georgia State University students that are victims and survivors of crime, any type of crime. It does not matter if the crime occurred on campus or off campus or when the crime occurred. We are always here to support you. You can reach us on our 24-hour hotline at 404 413-1965. You can also check out our website at victimassistance.gsu.edu. And remember, how I define a healthy relationship might not be the same way you define a healthy relationship, but what is important is to consider if you feel safe or unsafe. If someone is harming you, Okay, remember we are always here to support you. And if some, remember the L word. Just because someone tells you they love you, that does not mean that you have to say it back. It's okay if you take your time. It's okay if you talk about your goals and expectations of the relationship. You shouldn't have to feel pressured to do or say anything that you're choosing not to. We'll see you next Tuesday, 10.30, right here. Thank you again for tuning in to Student Victim Assistance Virtual Coffee Chats. And we'll ask if you'll please fill out our survey. We're going to include the link in the description with this video. Have a great week. Have an awesome day. Take good care again and stay safe. Thank you. Bye.